Hey there, Internet, and welcome to another episode of Where's Your Bookmark? A new school year is just around the corner, which means my summer vacation is starting to come to a close, and pretty soon I'm going to be up to my ears in lessons and giving orientations and all the sort of fun stuff that comes with working in a high school. But before that, I wanted to squeeze in at least one more book that really is just all about summer in my mind. And what says summer better than pirates? Today I'm going to be talking about The Dust of a Hundred Dogs by A.S. King. This is actually her debut novel. It came out in 2010. And while her second novel to be published, Please Ignore Vera Dietz, is one that gets a lot of attention, and rightfully so because it was a Prince Honor book, The Dust of a Hundred Dogs is so completely different and yet incredibly similar. One thing that I absolutely love about A.S. King's books is that they never remind me of anything else. They are so simple and yet complex at the same time. Her genre is not fantasy and it's not quite contemporary, it's magical realism. What that means is she basically takes just one element and slightly twists it, puts a magical sort of bent on it, and sticks those characters still in everyday sort of life. It's a technique that I just find fascinating and it makes for really interesting stories. We start off in the prologue with a 15 year old girl named Emery who is a pirate and she's just buried some treasure and is grieving over her lover having just died. She's crying her heart out when a man shows up cursing her to live a hundred lives as a dog before she can be human again. Flash forward to 1972 Emery's 100 lives as a dog are up, and she is now born as Saffron Adams. All of her memories are intact from her previous lives, both as a human and as a dog, and this girl is on a mission to find that buried treasure and get what's rightfully hers. The book bounces back and forth between Saffron's life in the present versus her life as Emery in the past, and it's really interesting to see that while Saffron has Emery's memories. They are still two very different people who approach the world differently and they make different choices, but they're also one and the same. It's a very interesting sort of take on reincarnation. You start the book knowing that Emery is a pirate, but then you flash back to her earlier life and learn about how she got there, starting with Cromwell invading Ireland and how that's affected her whole life. She may only be 15 years old, but she has seen quite a lot in her days and it's really heartbreaking and impressive and she's a very strong girl. I'm about halfway through, I started yesterday and I haven't been able to put it down. It's just an incredibly fun yet very smart read. I'm not gonna lie, she does take on a, quite a few serious issues but I think that it just celebrates even more what YA is all about. People who write really good YA books and let me tell you, A.S. King does they just go to show how don't underestimate your audience. It is a great sort of end of summer read. I am so happy that I've gotten around to it and if you look at my blog down below you will see I am a huge fan of A.S. King. I got to meet her once at an Anderson's event in Naperville, Illinois and she is just so cool and this is an amazing, amazing book. So again, this is The Dust of a Hundred Dogs by A.S. King. If you're looking for some good swashbuckling and strong women who aren't afraid to go after what they want, this is the book for you. All the usual links are down below. Comments are always welcome. So that's it for me for now, Internet. Take care. Bye-bye.